Glenn Mills live from the Institute of Religion for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the University of Utah campus where people are coming together today to honor the late Senator Orrin Hatch, the senator, ascending to positions never before seen by a Utah politician. And those who know him best say even though he was one of the most powerful politicians in the country, he always legislated with compassion and humor. Two people that know firsthand what it's like to work with the senator are former governor John Huntsman Jr. and former first lady Mary Kay Huntsman. I caught up with both of them to talk to them about their thoughts on the life and legacy of the former senator. What did Senator Hatch mean to you? Said he was he was a larger than life leader and we're here to remember a life and a story of public service that was done from start to finish exactly the right way. Service based on integrity, service based on reaching across the traditional boundaries, service in terms of putting your state and your country first. And if we can walk away remembering that, remembering his legacy, we're all going to be better off. Is that a lost art today? It's a lost art. And we have to reflect on it. We have to be reminded of those who have gone before us and done it right. The lessons of history and Orrin stands tall in terms of being larger than life in that category. Mary Kay, what did his example mean to you? Well, I would have to say that he probably was the first mentor that I remember John talking about. When I met um, him, it was like 1982 and probably my first politician ever meeting. And so following his example through the years, as John said, that is probably a lost art today. As you see, the Senator Hatches, there aren't too many of those left around. Governor, in your time as governor and ambassador, I imagine he was, you had conversations with him and he was, All the time. He was there. Uh, what was that like? What did you two talk about? All the time. He was always there to reflect on the bigger picture, always to provide encouragement, even when things were down. He was there at every one of my four Senate confirmations, sitting there at the table, helping to make the sale, and always taking the time to ask how things were going and to provide us input from a legislative standpoint. So I'll never forget that. I'll never forget what he did to those just behind him who were coming up through the system. And it's a lesson for all people in politics today to remember those who are coming up. Set the right example for them because they're going to be on stage someday and you want to make sure that their public service is imbued with integrity and, uh, and the right kind of honor and commitment.